The Magnuson-Stevens Fishery Conservation and Management Act is the national law that sets parameters for the management of our fishery resources in the United States. The 10 national standards contained within the act are the guidelines used by the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council when making fishery management decisions. These guiding principles mandate the use of the best scientific information available to prevent overfishing while achieving a harvest level that gives the greatest overall benefit to the nation, particularly with respect to food production and recreational opportunities, all while taking into account the protection of marine ecosystems. Using peer-reviewed science from multiple sources, the Gulf Council sets catch levels to allow for a productive annual harvest of fish while maintaining healthy stocks for years to come. The 10 national standards of fishery management require the Council to consider the importance of fishery resources to fishing communities to ensure fair and continued participation in the fishery. The Council works to balance competing interests in the fishery by establishing an equitable allocation of the resource. To do this, the Council must consider the social and economic impacts of fisheries regulations. Staff economists and anthropologists analyze the potential results of proposed management measures. Public input and participation in the development of regulations is highly encouraged at every step of the process. The Gulf Council and the national standards encourage safety at sea. Fishery management measures always consider and promote the health and safety of human lives on the open ocean so that we can enjoy the bounty of the sea for generations. The Gulf Council strives to maintain healthy fish stocks to ensure that productive fishing can continue into the future. To learn more about national fishery management standards and the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council, visit us at www.gulfcouncil.org or find us on Facebook.